Over here where the camera can get you. Come on. Over a little more. Come on, baby. Come on. There you go. Now. That a girl. Oh, this is our little baby ginger. And I've been working with her for about six weeks now. She came down with something we'd never dealt with before. And uh We've been working with her for, like I said, about six weeks, trying to get her well. She started out, she couldn't keep up with the other goats. She started just laying all day while the rest went out to eat. When she was about almost two months old. And we researched to try to see what was happening. She first just walked a little bit and then laid the rest of the day. Then she got to the point she wouldn't walk at all. Then she got to the point she couldn't stand up. And with our research, I found that selenium could cause leg problems and we thought maybe that was it. Then I researched more and found what is called a joint eel that we had never dealt with before and we've raised goats for many years. And I read that it could cause swelling in the joints and that they couldn't use their legs and it could cripple them. And the only remedy I saw for it was antibiotics for a long while. So I began to search more to see if there were any other options for her. She would lay at night when she couldn't get up by herself, and so all night she would lay in her excrement, and that was rough on the skin and the hair on her behind. And you can see that some of that hair came out. I would clean her up in the morning, but each night that would happen over again. But now she's got so she can get up and walk and move herself, so she's staying clean now at night. And hopefully that hair is going to grow back just fine in time. And you can see she's up moving around now, walking and grazing. But she has lost her attachment to the herd and to her mom and brother. But she seems content to be by herself right now. Okay. 
see what we can do. Did you get turned the wrong way? Come on. All right. Just hold on. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You okay? Here you go. You want this? Whoop. I know. Let's check out the bottle first. Come on. Come on. Let's see. There you go. Good girl. Good baby. You hungry? Good enough for the bottle. Have enough? Need some more? Come on. No? Look, you want some leaves? more. All right, now stand up. <laughs> I know. Come on. Put your legs under you. Good girl. Come on. Put your leg up under you. Come on. Let me out here. There you go. There you go. Now what you doing? Hmm? What you doing? Trying to use your legs, aren't you? All right. Want some more of that? Is that enough? Good girl. Did your mama go by and leave you? Okay, this little girl has improved some. She can stand up some on her own a little bit and use her front legs a little bit. Come on, baby. She's been laying down all night, so her legs are a little bit stiff this morning. Okay, let's move back a little bit. Now, there you go. She 
can support herself now and she can use her front leg some. The back leg she can stand on, but she doesn't seem to be able to move and walk with them yet. So she can use her front legs pretty good now, but her back legs still don't want to work very good. But she has improved a lot. stand but she can't move on her own because of her back legs when she gets off balance. But for several days she couldn't stand at all. Alright, come on, get up. Okay, so what did we use to treat this baby to help her recover so well? As I said, I researched and one thing that I used was this book that we had, the Complete Herbal Handbook for Farm and Stable. In that I found that a goat with joint ill should be dosed with garlic four cloves of garlic in one cup of milk. Also, when I researched on the internet, I found a site that talked about using oregano oil for goats and at a rate of one drop per 22 pound weight of goats. So, this is what we chose to do for our goat and I'll show you how I mix the milk every day. To begin with I took one cup of warm water then I added three or four cloves of garlic depending on the size and I placed that in a blender and blended it up very well. Then to that I added the appropriate amount of milk replacer for a cup of water then I strained that into the bottle for the baby goat. Then to the bottle I added one drop of oregano oil. Now this is not essential oil. This is oil of oregano that has been diluted with olive oil. I gave this mix to the baby every day as much as she would drink. And early on it might take two days for her to drink a cup. But then she got to the point she would drink a whole cup in one day. So now we've stopped treating her with the garlic and the oregano oil. We did that for about five weeks. Now that she's recovered well, we've stopped the treatments and we're just giving her the goat milk replacer. So, so far she seems to be doing very well. Also to this milk each day I added about one teaspoon of honey. So that's it. Simple, easy, natural remedy that for us worked very well.